Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. Uh, today I got a little video from the bed. It's about 6.30 uh, in the morning. I just woke up. I uh, want to get to work. But before I want to get to work, I uh, want to read some fan fiction about the uh, latest new craze, Cuphead. Now, I know this is a pretty unorthodox video, but uh, I didn't want to get up and just immediately start recording with all the camera on. I, I look like crap. But I want to show you guys a creative process behind uh, me waking up and doing creepy passes or things like that. Today we're going to kind of be looking at a creepypasta. This is an erotic Cuphead fan fiction, so if you're under the age of 18, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. It's going to be a Red Dolan type video, so just, just, be, uh, just be ready for that. So this over here is a Wattpad production. This is by Young S Little Sinner Wolf. It's a smut fluff piece. It's got a little mango and a cloud thing going around, but uh, other than that... Let's go. Uh, let's go look into. Let's go look into what we're reading. This is about Bendy and Cuphead. All right, two two characters in a in a lovely relationship with one another in this beyond amazing Pulitzer Prize winning fan fiction. Once he was in there, he proceeded to take his shirt off. Once he got his shirt off, he walked over, then got in bed with Bendy, who was seemingly asleep. Cuphead laid down, then brought Bendy close to him and felt Bendy hug him, which made him smile a bit. Cuphead looked down to see Bendy had his eyes closed, but it looked like he'd been crying. Cuphead blinked in worry, then gently cupped his cheek and tilted his face upwards a bit, then leaned forwards. Cuphead placed a soft and gentle kiss onto Bendy's lips, which, holding him close, then felt him kiss back, which made him stiffen... <laughs> stiffen in surprise a bit, thinking he was asleep. Cuphead eventually pulled away and saw Bendy, that had his eyes open but looked like he was about to cry again. Bendy, what's wrong? He asked in worry while gently caressing his cheek. I had a nightmare, he mumbled while looking down shyly. Cuphead blinked, then his eyes softened and brought Bendy into a tight hug, to which he hugged back and felt him began to tremble while silently sobbing. What was it about? Cuphead asked while gently petting his head. Bendy sniffed and began to explain what happens in a dream. Oh, God, look, look, look at this poem here. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I'll always love you and make you happy. If you will only say the same, but if you leave me and love another, you'll regret it all someday. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know. Oh, this is the chorus of the, of the song. I see. I gotcha. He sang as Bendy began to calm down slightly. Bendy sniffed and snuggled into Cuphead's chest, to which he smiled and nuzzled against his head. Cuphead eventually tilted Bendy's head up a bit, and then gently... Oh, this is where you guys, um... This is where you guys whip out the... Put your hands in your pants. Gently kissed him, to which he kissed back. Bendy let out a soft moan as he did this and felt him hug him a bit tighter. Cuphead eventually pulled away, allowing Bendy to gasp for air. Cuphead kissed Bendy again, to which he kissed back as Cuphead trailed his hands down to, oh no, no, God, no, down to his pants. Bendy gasped as he trailed down to his neck and began to lightly kiss and bite it. Cups. <laughs> Bendy moaned out as he began to suck on his neck roughly. Cuphead began to slowly peel Bendy's pants off while kissing along his neck as he was panting lightly. Cuphead eventually got on top of Bendy and proceeded to proceeded straddle his hips. Cuphead lightly kissed his neck again and began trailing downwards, which made him moan as he did this, and felt him stop at his stomach. Cuphead pulled away, which made Bendy whine a bit as Cuphead sat up. Bendy watched as Cuphead pulled his pants and un oh, I'm just waiting to see Cuphead dick right now. Underwear off and watched him as members immediately s watched him member immediately sprang out, which made Bendy blush a bit. What the fuck? Cuphead proceeded to lick his hand, then began to slick his member with saliva as Bendy was blushing deeply. Cuphead got on top of Bendy again, then gently kissed his neck while beginning to slide his underwear off. Bendy shuddered as he did this. Even though they've done this a few times before, Bendy was always a little nervous. Cuphead lifted Bendy's legs onto his shoulders while lightly pressed the head of his member. Okay. Oh, just say pen- that- oh, oh, God. 
against his entrance. Ready? he asked, all looking into Bendy's eyes. Bendy shyly nodded while lightly gripping onto the covers, knowing it was going to be painful. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Cuphead began to slow push into Bendy, which he yelped in pain, but bit his bottom lip while tears began to form in his eyes as he tilted his head into the pillow. C cups? What the, what, what, what's that? What, what are cups? He whimpered out as he was slowly pushing into him. Cuphead gently kissed him, then stopped when he was halfway in as Bendy was panting lightly. Hey, you okay, buddy? He asked, worried, while gently caressing his face. Bendy nodded while sniffing a bit, considering he had to get used to it as Cuphead was gently caressing his face. Cuphead gingerly kissed Bendy and continued to slowly push in, which made Bendy whimper softly, but allowed him to continue. Once Cuphead was in entirely, oh, all the way? Oh, boy. There really is no lord out there, goddamn. He waited for him to adjust, not wanting to hurt him. Bendy eventually shakily nodded and felt him begin to move in and out slowly and gently, which made him whimper quietly, but continued to bear with it. Oh man, fucking goddamn, dude. B Bendy, Bendy just takes it for Cuphead, dude. Bendy eventually felt pleasure begin to form, then let out a sigh of pleasure as Cuphead continued to thrust into him softly. softly. Cuphead noticed, then gently kissed him, while continuing to softly thrust into him. C cups faster! Bendy panted out as he found his prostate. Oh, God, no! What was that, Bendy? You'll have to speak up, Cuphead said with a small smirk, you sick bastard. F faster, cups, please! Bendy panted out pleadingly. Cuphead gently kissed him and compiled, then complied, then began moving in and out rapidly, causing Bendy to moan louder with each thrust. C cups harder, please! Bendy, what the fuck is a cups harder supposed to be? Is does, does Wattpad have censoring? Can you not mention this kind of stuff? What? Bendy cried out while tilting his head into the pillow. Cuphead chuckled softly, then began thrusting into Bendy, roughly causing him to cry out in pleasure. While his head went deeper into the pillow, Cuphead began thrusting faster, harder, and deeper into Bendy, causing him to nearly scream in pleasure while drooling a bit. Cuphead, harder! Bendy screamed out as drool dripped down his chin, to which Cuphead complied, causing Bendy to scream at the top of his lungs in pleasure. Ah! Oh! Ooh! Bendy screamed and sobbed as tears began rolling down his face while sniffling a bit. Cuphead stopped moving when he saw this and immediately felt guilty. Bendy, was this too much? I'm sorry, he apologized. What, what, why are you saying sorry? You just fucking destroyed his little rectum, dude. What the fuck? He apologized while gently wiping his tears away. Did I say to stop? Bendy, oh shit, this is some Fifty Shades crap. Bendy breathed out while wrapping his arms around Cuphead's neck, to which Cuphead blushed brightly. Cuphead kissed Bendy deeply and proceeded to thrust into him. Oh god, how long does this go on for? All right, let's leave the let's read the last part. Anyways, Bendy panted out while glaring at Cuphead slightly. Don't worry, I got soundproof walls in here, so we don't wake the neighbors. Cuphead, man, they have some ratchet sex if you're waking up your neighbors like that. Cuphead said, then kissed his head. All right, but if you're joking and we get one call complaint, you're sleeping on the couch tomorrow night. Bendy said with a huff. All right, Cuphead said and nuzzled against Bendy's head. Cuphead proceeded to lay down next to Bendy and brought him close. Night, Bendy. I love you, Cuphead said while nuzzling him. Love you too, Bendy mumbled, falling asleep. Cuphead gently kissed his head and slowly fell asleep with him. We just read gay anal sex between Cuphead and Bendy. Now, I know that there's porn of this, and I wouldn't be surprised, but ladies and gentlemen, for the dark souls of platformers, we certainly have a pretty revealing surprise. In about two weeks of this game's release, it's gotten such popularity that now people are shipping anal sex between Cuphead and Bendy. How the anatomy of these two characters work, I don't understand, but I'm going to get up and go to work before I have to bleach my brain out even further. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it, I'm gonna fucking shoot myself.